So guys, what is up? It is NYK Chazza and welcome back to the second episode of the RTG. And what an episode we've got. We've got our pre-order packs, our 4,600 FIFA points, and also our one-to-watch pack, which hopefully we could get something good in. We get one of the greatest pulls in the game today, so you've got to want to make sure you stick around as well. And if we could hit 75 likes in this episode, that would be simply incredible. And also, if you're not already, smash that subscribe button. We want to hit 20,000 before Christmas. Can we make it happen? But... First walkout, promo packs are here. We get Luka Modric. Very, very like him, by the way. He's actually got a decent card this year. Pretty much a better upgrade than he had last year. Very usable. But we get Arouan Basaka in the pack, which is very important. But I've been grinding. We've been getting the 50k packs ready. Getting the two-player packs ready. And these points, if anything, they're going to do. They're going to boost us. The ultimate edition coming in clutch. This will be the only time we get to spend FIFA points all year. So we need to make sure we make the most of it. And EA, please come up clutch and give us something good as well. Boys, if you want to go and leave the suggestions down below on who we should pick up in the next episode as well and the best comment I will also pin so make sure you're getting active down there because overall this series I want to make it the most inclusive one we've had yet and there we go Casemiro welcome very very happy with that pull right there another set amount of coins especially in the big packs you really really want to pack the good stuff because if you don't you're simply wasting it. But as I said, I want to make this the most inclusive series we've had yet. So ask any questions you have below as well that you'd like me to go through in terms of when you should sell players, in terms of what you're looking to invest in and trade in. Because obviously we have the pay to win account, which is insane. We've got Cruyff, we've got Zidane. The list is literally endless. But on this account is which we do the hard graft. We do the grinding. We don't do the FIFA points. Everything is built from the bottom up, which makes this so much more enjoyable. But another cheeky walkout. I'll take a Sam Erandanovic. Not going to be too shy to that as well. And now we're starting to see the influx in SBC starting to come out as well. We've had Talisca and we've also had the main man that is Andre Silva. Not too sure if I want to complete either of those. Maybe Talisca looks okay considering he might get a lot of upgrades. And obviously we know Andre Silva from last year. He's an absolute gunman in the Bundesliga. But I don't know if we'll ever be looking at using him. There's only one Portuguese striker I want this one to watch. And that is Cristiano Ronaldo. But the team we're going to build at the end of this episode is going to be absolutely incredible and as I said we pack one of the best players in the game so make sure you're staying tuned he's literally going to take our team from here to here it's going to be absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to see how he performs on the pitch we've also got a couple of good objectives out at the moment as well in one to watch Camavinga and also one to watch Justin Cliver who actually look okay Justin Cliver as well all he needs is a couple of upgrades you never know he might even get a featured team of the week which would push him up to an 84 straight away which would be absolutely incredible if that happened so I'm going to complete him anyway just in case he does get that upgrade and obviously we're on an RTG. We don't have the money. We don't have the cash moolah to spend. We are scraping the barrel every single day. But the one thing I like about this year that's different to other games, especially uh, FIFA 21, FIFA 20, we're getting through these cards very quickly in terms of Joe Gomez's, Richarlison's. Their prices aren't super high at the beginning of the game. So you can actually build a very good competitive team to literally get yourself ready for that first weekend league. We need to get ourselves in. But from the packs, we was able to make 22 Two rare player upgrades, and these have been absolutely cracked this year for me. Even on my main account where we packed uh, Hakimi and Son. And I'm hoping we can get something huge on this account as well to take us forward. And overall, as I said, we want to get a lot of cards as well because we've not even hit the big SBCs yet. So the Foundation SBCs, Hybrid Nations, Hybrid Leagues, we've not even attacked those yet. So if we can get a good team before even cracking on with those, that's going to give us a lot, a lot of breathing room in terms of promos in the future. Because I don't really want to go and smash through all of them in team one because I might want to wait for team two I might even want to wait till we obviously get the Halloween promo which would be another one which I might actually look at opening them in because I know if I complete them Neymar what are you doing to me Neymar Cito joins the RTG chat what a pull I can't believe it Second episode in, we've already had Pogba, and now we go and pick up the main man, the Brazilian, Neymar Cito. We packed him untradeable on the FIFA 21 RTG, and now we have him on the FIFA 22 RTG. And I am so ready to see how good this Brazilian is going to be for us this year. He is going to be incredible. It is only the second week of FIFA. It's only been out for four days, and we have literally got one of the best players in the game on the RTG. 
I'm ready, I'm rocked, I'm pumped. Get me in that foot, champions. EA Sports, I'm ready for it. We take a cheeky little Neymar, bro. That is an absolutely incredible pull. Still so many packs left as well. And we have Neymar Cito in the squad. And this year... Finally, Paris Saint-Germain actually have a left-back that can run. And that is going to be the main man, Nuno Menz, who can join the squad straight away as well. 85 pace, a very decent start, a left-back, to be honest. Not going to be the end of the world using him. So overall, extremely happy with how the pack opening's going. We've had Modric, and then we get a keeper, the Finnish maestro, Hida Deke. We're actually going to use him as well in the team, which I was very, very happy about. Cool dynamic image. Maybe will be good for SBC fodder in the future as well. But I'm going to start doing a lot of investing. I want to build a team and then start building a good coin base so we can invest in fodder. Because I know maybe not in, obviously, we'll do a couple of flipping here and there, especially with our consumable cards. But in the future, fodder is going to rise a massive amount, like it always does. Especially with, as you've seen already, we've seen Talisca, 84-rated squad. Uh, Andre Silva, 83-rated squad, which means EA are going to have no chill just like they did in FIFA 21 when it comes to SBC requirements we're going to need some of the biggest and best players in the game to lob into SBCs in terms of rating so they are going to do very very nicely I'm thinking of maybe Rodri and Laporte like I did a little bit on my main account I think 6,000 coins a piece 86 rated both in the Premier League also give you that hyperlink which is huge which for chemistry especially with ones that's going to require more but like Andre Silva I believe he needs 80 cam and he's not even good which is crazy to see. So, looking forward to it. Get Lucas Moura there as well, who's actually a very good card. He's going to be a great super sub for us. But I'm all just hoping now we can have a lot of easy games, get ourselves into foot champs, have that qualification period, get some sick packs for the next episode or the episode after, and then we move. Because we still got to do the 100k packs. We've done the 50k pack, and as you saw in the last episode, we packed Pogba, which was incredible. And we also got Gabriel Jesus before he was in form. So, we've got a couple of good players to base the team around, and now now we've got Neymar as well. So Camavinga has to join the squad. We're going to get ourselves a lot of coins from this as well. I'm going to show you why our transfer list after we've opened these last couple of packs. But seven minutes of straight packs on the second episode of an RTG. That don't happen often. We need to take this moment, save it and grace it because it's not going to happen anytime soon. We're going to have to get grafting after those FIFA points. If only we could do that over and over again, it would be absolutely quality. But look at that, a little cheeky little Gomez pull as well. He's going to be 13,000 coins and the coins are looking healthy. We're sitting on 130,000 moving upwards to 150k as well, especially with a load of consumables in our club, which I'm going to look to keep because maybe I reckon they could rise or we're going to flip them quickly uh, on snipes. So we get a lot of cards there we start building the team Nuno Mens comes in straight away had to buy him ASAP Rocky and I'm looking at that one to watch Camavinga the dynamic image is simply so magnifique and I've got my eyes on a big man everyone's saying it's the year of the big striker I'm intrigued my man he's a bit of an investment as well because I know he won't lose coins and that is going to be 90 rated in form Karim Benzema he's going to be our first striker who's probably going to be making the lead in division rivals trying to get ourselves up to the highest of all if we can get to the elite division on this account that would be absolutely sick as well we've got a long way to go but I'm ready for the grind we have obviously going to go and snipe him as well because this card I was thinking 90 rated in form he's Benzema big name good links he's French strong links hyperlinks to Camavinga and Pogba it literally cannot go wrong 90,000 coins is all this man's going to cost we're going to get him up cheap on a snipe as well because there's no point waiting there you can literally sit here for a couple of minutes snipe a card that's in the team of the week and then you can end up getting him a lot and a lot cheaper so there you go 88,000 coins we're taking three and a half thousand cheap Thank you very much to that guy that listed two at once as well. We'll slap a hunter on our one, which is only going to cost nothing. And then our untradeable one to watch pack, it corrupted. I've had a lot of problems with corruptions. That's why you've probably seen this only come out a few days after the first episode. But we're back to daily stuff, so I'm looking forward to it. Daniel Marlon joins the club, which is very, very good to see. Daniel Marlon is going to be our untradeable one to watch. Won his first game, by the way, out of the five he needs. So this card this year, I could easily see him go up to an 84, 86 at some point. Bagging in the goals of our man Erling brought Haaland. And then we're going to finish off the rest of the team as well. We're going to bring in Rafinha. Looking at this card as well, this is a card that in previous years would easily be 20, 30k. But on this game, 
We're looking at 2,000 coins. Can't go wrong. Needing for the objective as well for Camavinga, as you do need to score goals with uh, Barclays Premier League player, which is decent. And then the right back option in the Prem is not looking very good this year, to be honest. Obviously, you've got Cancelo, Carl Walker, but they're all very expensive. So the cheap option is going to be our man Emerson. Only 2,100 coins. Decent stats. If he was a rare, he's at least 6K. So I'm very happy to pick him up. Just because he's not shiny, we'll have him for a little bit. But I am going to look at maybe upgrading that right hand side to Mares and Cancelo in the near future. We'll have to see how it goes. And then we also look at this man as well, Klosterman. I was looking at also picking up LaCroix and it just didn't make sense. 30,000 coins for a centre-back that maybe he's going to be okay, but is he really going to be that much better than Klosterman for the, a price difference of 25,000 coins? Not really. And then the man we're going to go and link him up with is going to be my man Deo Upamecano, which I'm actually looking forward to using because basically this card with Deo Upamecano is in one to watch at the moment. So I picked him up for 24k. He's sitting around 30 odd and I do want to sell him very soon so we can get Dalavala was one to watch and also uh, the main man in Edat Militao but Nkunku joins the squad and what do you boys think of that for a first team it's only episode 2 what a bloody squad and as I said we're going to try and look to get Edat Militao and also David Alaba in the future Camavinga joins the club also an absolutely incredible episode as well boys so if you did in like this video make sure you smash that like button hit the subscribe button turn them notice on and we will be back tomorrow for episode three i'll love you i'll leave you i'll see you later pa, 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 pa. peace i'll see you on twitch tonight you absolute kings bye